Okay, so uh, would like to do this one, this first one. I think everybody did this, but I just would like to make sure that everybody has that uh, done. So would like to have this program called Print Words that uses this AVL tree to print the words in a sorted alphabetical order. Now uh, we can do that by let me maybe create just a file would be easier. Okay, uh, just going to go here, right click, new, Java class, that's the name of the class, print words. And now this one I would like to have to have it to use basically the same about JUC that we have in this project to read the file and then we just like to put it into the EVL and then sort it. So basically what should we do? Uh, well we could also I mean take the advantage of of this, right? So I'm just going to copy this thing and then of course this needs to be in the main so I'm going to copy the main as well. And remember the difference between this code over here that adds this use delimiter and this one that doesn't. You remember the difference? Uh, there is no like, uh, dots or commas. So the commas, the punctuation basically, and all things are going to be part of what is going to be excluded from here. And then if I would like to run this code over here, this is not going to work because if I run the file, because the file is not there <coughs> just the file error because it was not there and how can I do that basically I need to go to the files because the files are put in the basic I mean the the folder of the project so I'm just going to copy this one and paste it here and now if I run it again I have all everything now if I remove this thing, which is also mentioning that the delimiter, okay, no, that's not what I wanted, I need to read the file, or you know what, I'm going to right click on the project, go to the properties, and go for the run, I would like to mention now the main class is this print words, this is the one I would like to run every time I click on this run, so, and now you can see that we have some characters that are there, because these are also we have the commas and everything so we don't have we don't want those so these are going to exclude them because they're going to be considered by default if I don't use this that means only the space is not going to is going to define where a word stops now by using these I'm just extending to some other things so uh, now having this thing I would like to, I don't want to print them like that I just would like to do what Instead of just printing them, I would like to print them in order, so I would like to add these to an AVL tree, which means I need to declare an AVL tree of, of what? Of string. So this is my tree, new AVL tree. And then, instead of printing, I'm just going to, whatever is red, I'm going to put it in s into, so what should I do now? In order? In a while loop? Why am I going to do in order in a while loop? In order is going to print the tree, right? But the tree, I have s to put something in it before I can print it. So before printing it, I need to put something in the tree. Did I put anything in the tree? Yeah. This is still in the file. I just prepared the tree. I did not put anything in it. This loop is going to read every, every what? Every word as next. Not so I'm just like to read every word because this is what I do. I do this next, not next line. The next is through word. So I need to insert that. So how can I insert that? Well, just insert, and then whatever was read. 
or maybe to make it clear, I don't know if we need to do that. So let's say word, I don't know if, well, so I'm reading a word and then I'm adding the word. And I do that in a loop. And after I'm done, I can close because I'm done now, but I'd like to display the, the content. So what I need to do, my tree dot in order. And this in order prints the tree, right? So it's going to print in order and everything and with the in order and then visit, which the visit, what does the visit do? It just prints it. So now if I run this thing, I'm seeing it sorted. But I also have these rotate left, rotate right. But where, where are these coming from? From the insert. These are coming from the insert because every time you insert, it just there's this compare insert again, and then this compare to I don't know which uh, rotate. When I have this rotate right, rotate left, each one of them is going to display. So that's why I have these displayed. If I don't want these, I just can comment this so I don't see them. But let's just leave them. And now what I can do, I can just do something like this: the tree, the the words sorted I'll maybe do something like backslash n and then something like this and then backslash n just to s distance these from now I'm just going to what is happening ok so now it's going to have this kind of space and then this is going to be is it sorted? So the numbers A, B, C, and then I have lowercase a, and so on. <coughs> so that's the first part. Now the second part is basically the same thing except that I'd like to also count the words. Because every time I insert something that is already in the tree, it's not going to be inserted again. If the word exists already, it's not going to show up because there's no duplication in the EVL. So now I just would like to. So what the, what it says is that your program above have automatically discarded all duplicates since they're not used into the the binary search tree or the EVL. Write another program that would like to count that prints each word and in the input file along with its count, which is how many times this word was found. Now, how can we do that? The word class? We have a class called word. We have a class called word? Where is this, the class, this, this one? This this class word that does what? It's comp it's implements comparable. It just gives me we have a word and then it counts it. So well they have this count here, but how do we use it? So it says for each word created use the create use it to create a word object that is going to be target search for the target in the tree if found increment the count of the result else insert the target into the tree at the end traverse the tree using this in order now instead of let's just copy this we're going to use this something similar to this right so I'm just going to copy these print words and paste it and I'm going to call it print print word counts now this class here if I need to use it what's the benefit of it? We compare between the words. Yeah. 
Well, I think the more important part is the Celts, yeah. Because the word, we already have it. This, this word here, that's what we had in the print words here. We just add the word and then we insert it. Now, instead of having this string word, I would like to have this object of the class word that we are going to have this word has the advantage of having the word, the text, and the number that is associated to it. So, instead of doing this string word, I'm going to call it, now in my new one, this is the, this one, and by the way, I just right click again, properties, run, now I just would like to have this print word counts, select. I just would like now, if I run now, instead of having this word, to have the word. But this word is not a text now. I need to initialize that new word and then with the text that is entered. Now, this constructor, what it will do, it will just, every time I initialize, it will take this word here, put it as the in the word, and then the count will be one. Now, this is going to be. Every word now will have one, if it's inserted. Now the thing, if I find another word, and I'd like to insert it, before I insert it, I need to find if that word exists in my tree. If it exists, I just need to, well, first of all, I need to increase the count, which means I need to get the count and increase it. I can't just assume it's always going to be one, because maybe that word exists more than once. So I need to get the, that, that count, and then, increase it. How can I do that? Now, first of all, my tree now is going to be a tree of words, not a tree of string, because now I have a word with its count. Now, before inserting into the tree, what I should do, I should check if it exists. Do I have something that tells me if it exists? There's something is in tree is going to tell me if this is in the tree or, or not. Yeah. Do I have something that is fine, like search? Well, yeah, I have this search here that can tell me if this word exists. And if it does exist, it returns this word to me. Now, this is going to return if the word exists. But this is not what I want, because this is going to return the word itself and how the word is compared to each other. Let's see, how do we know that the word exists? If it equals, it just compares only the word, not the count, which is this is what I want. So basically two words are going to be equal if the word itself, the content is the same, not the count. We don't compare it with the count. As you can see, the equals does not include the count in it. So. I'm going to search for the word. Once I find it, if the word exists, it will be increased. If it wasn't exi doesn't exist, just insert it in the tree. So now I have two situations. I have to put some kind of if else. Now if this is null, that means it doesn't exist. Well, I just need to insert it. If it's not null, Basically, I need to get it, whatever this, let's call it this, the, that they call the target that we're looking for, I mean the one that we're searching. Let's get this to be here. If, we've, if this target is null, we insert just the word. If it's not null, that means this target is going to be the word that we would like to, that exists already. I just need to increment that count then I need to well when I increment the count it's just going to change the value should I insert it again no well, there's no insert I'm just going to because this is going to give me the reference this here going to give me the reference of the word if it was found if it was found it give me the object and I can just increment the count if it doesn't, then just give me, it will be null, because uh, it's not found. So when it's not found, just do nothing, just insert the word, because it's a new one. But if it wasn't, then 
That means that it exists, so it gives me that object. Let's increase the count, and that's it. Or I can do something, maybe. I can have something that increase or increment. I can have this increment, which is mm, better, I think. Which is public void increment. Which will prevent me from doing any mistakes, anyways. Just just going to increment the count. So now print words is going to do basically the same thing up to now here. Now once I get the word, I'm just going to search for that word in the tree. If I find it, whatever the result is, is going to be put into this target. Target can be either null if it doesn't exist. If it's null, just insert the word. Or if it exists, that means it's going to be not null. Then target is going to be a word with a count. I just need to increment the count, and that's it. Yes? Why uh, <coughs> we have to increment the count when we insert the another new word? Because when you insert a word, now if the word exists already, it's not going to be inserted again. So it's just going to be discarded. Now, if you'd like to do that, you will have to change this whole insert thing to make it work with your specific class word which we don't want to do, we don't want to leave it like general, generic, so it can work with anything. And then we just add whatever we need to do to deal with the fact that we need now to count. But you're right, we can do that as well if we want to. But it's, not, it's going to take out the fact that now this is going to be a generic AVL3 class. It will be AVL3 class that works specifically for our ob objective of counting the, the words. Well, I just prefer to put the increment here. And I need white target, not word. Oh, white target, well not word. That's a good question, though. Why did we do target increment, not word increment? Because the word is, when I create this, this word is going to be the count is one. But the target, if it was already inserted, it will be the first time it will be one but maybe the second time it will be two or three or four whatever so if I use word increment it's going to always be two because by default it's when I do this it will be one and then by incrementing the word it's going to be two so this is going to make it any number that was before and increment it which one which line did you want me to change? Because I'm not uh, understanding what you. The class word. The class word. Why you, why you change? I change. Oh, because the string doesn't have the number that this has. I mean, in this class word, we have the the, the word, the, the string, plus yeah. how many numbers, how many times this. Can't do it in, the class in the class string. Yeah. What do you mean? You can do it in the class. Yeah. What do you, you want me to do? Count, uh, you'd like to put a count. Well, the problem is, how can you store this count into the tree? Maybe you can do another tree, but then how can you link the two together? It's going to be complicated. So that's why it's better because they come together, put them together in a class, and then like this, and then they're going to be now together every time. So if we run now, this is going to display this, this, uh, which one? This in order is going to display whatever this two string of this class is. What does the two string of this class does? Displays the word and then the count. So if I run now this thing, I'm going to be able to see every word along with its count. So I can see better seven times, city two times, etc. Commission, etc., etc. Is that okay? Yes. It's the backslash t that works this way, depending on the size. So now, I'm because this is taking some tour, so backslash t after this is not reaching this one. So whatever. But you got the point. Right? Now this is another 
thing, but I don't want to spend too much time because I would like to spend more time on whatever next. But update uh, this print word count to print not only the count for each word, but also the line number where the, where the word occurred in the text file. Now, how can we do that? Now, for example, this tells you that the A was 1, it was found at line 10. Then about at line 1. And then each one of them is going to give you like how many times and then which lines they are in. How can we do that? That's a good point. You're talking the A's are now the way they probably are sorted. They include all the A's together. Anyways, uh, this is going to take some time because what I could do, with, as obviously you can see, we have m more lines, so we need maybe an array. So we could just add um, another. We could use we could use this first and to add this, but we can also use the list to add that because <laughs> the list will increase without us the need to know how many what's the size because we don't know what's the size. We'd like to increase every time, so obviously the linked list will be better than an array. An array will be le less efficient. But the idea is that we need to add something to this class because now we'd like to store more than one information. Uh, more than two uh, type of information, the word, the count, and the lines. So I will have to have the lines, and every time I insert, I'd like to insert the line number. So I need to have some kind of a counter. You want us to do that? Let's, let's do it, I think it will be. So let's, first of all, uh, let's make it public, even though that's not the best thing to do, but this pub public, and then we have this, uh, what do you like to do? Uh, Link. Int. No, uh, every word have how many lines? It might have more than one line. So it's not like an int. We'd like to have some kind of a linked list. So we'd like to have an array of, or as we mentioned, as I just mentioned previously, a linked list would be easier, would be better because the linked list is not going to uh, require us to have a specific length because if you say an array you have to specify the size but we don't know what's the size this one has 14 this one has only one so so it's better to use a linked list so you know what I'm just going to use the linked list but uh, the linked list uh, of integers is going to be this is going to be lines and while well now I just would like to do something another this line number because when you when you'd like to initialize this the number is one but at least the first time you initialize it with the line number to be these lines. Well, first I need to initialize that by saying equal new linked list and then the lines dot add this line number. Why did I do this? Because now when I create a word, when I insert a word, I would like to put the word and the line number. I'm not going to insert only the word, I just need the line number also to be there. So now my print count is not going to work this way because I need the line number. But what is the line number? Well, I have to have a counter, or let me be, line number. That is going to be, how should I start? From zero or from one? I'll start from zero, let's say. Okay, when I'm starting from zero now, what I need to do is that I would like to increment the line number to be 1 and then insert it. So I'm going to do this. Are you okay with this? 
Are you fine with what I'm doing? Yeah. So it starts from zero, and then when I'm creating an object word, when with the word that was read, I will just do the plus plus before because I would like to increment from zero to one, and then it said that this is the word was found in this line one. It was line two, it will be line two, and, and, and so on. So every time this is going to, incre to increment, right? So this will increment all the time. For every line, this is going to be incremented. If this is creating a problem for you, we can do this. It's the same thing. I'd like to increment first, then insert it. So line is zero, then ev for every line that I'm reading, I'm going to increment by one, and then put it here. Now the only thing that I need to add, because every time this is going to do, this is going to increase and add this to the word. But the problem is, the first time, this is what happens. But when I'm doing this, when I find the number, now when I'm incrementing this, I'd like to also, now I find another number of that. So I need to increment, I need to put the line. So I can do something. I can do to this and then target, put the line, which is the lines. I'm going to add the line number. So to this same target, I increment the number, the count, and then I add the line number that I just added. And then when this is done, when it's done, I'm, well, I'm going to be displaying in order, I just need to make sure that now my two string of here is also going to display the lines. So I'm just going to do something like this, backslash t again, or another double backslash t, just one, one of them, plus lines. Now this lines is going to be displaying the lines, I mean the content, the two string, the two string of this uh, linked list if we try to look at the navigator to find the two string, I come set up. If we look at the two string, where's the two string? Here it is. There's not two string here, so probably the two string doesn't exist in this one. So maybe in one of the super classes. Yeah, it doesn't uh, exist in here. So, anyways, so we might need to find the other super class, but we don't want to spend time finding which one has a two string. We can just do something like this, and we will find. Where is it coming from? Dot to string. And this is going to be from the abstract collection, which is going to display them either empty like this, or it's going to put like this brackets and display each one of them there. But I can just remove this because I don't need to. I can leave I can leave that like that, but that's not needed. Now if I'm sorry? It's the same, but I prefer not to put it. Now if I run this thing, it shows now I mean this is what it added, so let's not get distracted with why this rotation things. But these are the words. It tells me this and finding this line. About this line, administration, line one sixty two, etc. And this is page seven, one fifty one, forty seven, etc. etc. And this shows the lines. Something similar to this. Is that okay? So, that's it for this uh, set of tasks to ABC. And that's how we can do something like that. We can also maybe. There's no? There's no 160 in the output. What do you mean? There are no such lines. There's no. There's no. There's no 131. Well, that's a nice uh, observation because now these are not li like line numbers because we're reading words. Yeah. Now this this is counting the words, not the lines. You're right. So these numbers are not okay because now this reads the just one line 
as I expect this to be one line, but no, I'm reading one number. If I'd like to read the line, I need to do next line. But with, when I read the line now, this is, uh, sorry, not here, here. This is going to be, this next line is going to give me the whole set of words. So I need to split them. So that's why, I mean, this is not going to be this type of thing. So how can I split those? Well, yes, let me show you this. First of all, while there's something to read, I'm just going to read, to read the whole line. So instead of doing this, like this, I need to read the whole line. And I'm going to call this to be string, the line, and I'm going to read it like this. So this noun line, I need to split it into the different parts. So I can read each one of them, each line, and then for each line that I'm reading, for each, sorry, for each word in that line that I'm reading, I need to do this. So I need another loop inside this while loop. But of course, this is not going to be here. So how can I split this line, in, this line into different parts? Well, basically there's this split, actually. I think this, I saw that somewhere. This split. And split gives you an array of strings. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this, uh, what are we going to do? An array, let's say a string. Now the array. These are the words in the line. And how can I get the words in the line? By using this split. And basically, what I need to give it is the same thing that I did here. Because this is also going to split them the same way that this one splitted them. By spaces and also punctuation, etc. And this is the way how I can do that. Now, I'm going just to take this. And I'm going to have for each, maybe have a for each, for each uh, word, string, word, in my words in line, for each one of them, I need to do this. Except that instead of doing this, this is my word. But I have a problem. I'm already using the word here. So and I'm going just to rename it a little bit. I'm going to put word, this one. This is for each word in the line. And this is like, let's say I'm going to make it text. Text, text. So let's just uh, summarize, hold on. Let's just summarize what I just did. Basically, what we just added is that this thing now happens to be, we're not reading one word at a, at a time, we're reading a line at a time. So that's why we increment the lines, read the lines, and then we put the line here. And then this is going to give us in an array every word in that line with these separators, but punctuation, etc., is going to be different, separated from the rest. And then this loop here is going to take every word in that array, this one that was just split, and it will take that word and initialize this object word with the line number that we just did previously. Now the line number is going to be the same for all the words on that are on that same line. And this is going to be doing the same thing that we just did. Now let me run this thing. And now we have a reasonable number of lines. But we also have, what is that? A space or? We have a space six times. Now I don't know if it's a new line or a space, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you, what did you say? In the while. In the while, yeah. Because I don't know, has next. Uh, let me see. Is this there's, is there a has next line? Yeah. Oh, all right. You're right. So probably just my mistake. There's a has next line. Okay. I did not realize that this reader has a has next that reads only a word or has next line that reads the whole line. And this is what I'd like to do basically. Does will it make a difference and get this get rid of that thing? Can you 
I think probably it will. No, no. So, uh, all right. How to fix this is we need to ask a question here every time. But I don't know what it, what this is. It looks like probably this is the backslash n. Maybe the backslash n or the the end of the line is going to be counted. So let's say if I'm going to try this. If word is equal, well. Of course, I need to do this equal. This backslash n continue. You remember the continue? We'll just go skip, go to the next one. Let's see if this is going to fix our problem. No, that's not the backslash n. So what is it? Maybe there's some kind of a special character that is there. Now, how can we do that now? Well, the problem is that, let me do something. You know what? Before doing the tree, I'm just going to stop here. I'm going to run. And yeah, why? Because I'd like to look for the variables. I'd like to go for the tree and from the root, try to find something. Now, this is the key. What's in it? In. So it tells me what's inside of it. So it's in 14, okay? Now from the left, the key, well, there's a lot of things that are going to be there. The word is affiliate, all right. And on the right, developing. Can you just check it up with the uh, so left to the right? What do you mean? Up, up there when you get the, the, I mean, when you get the results, there's uh, rotate left to the right, it might be with them so we know which when this happened okay let's find out so let's see in the output yeah, in the output, if yeah. we see there's something that is just empty that was rotated uh, well it looks like uh, there's not the first one no well, the double right, left, or double. So this one doesn't show us anything, but here we can see there's nothing. I don't know. It's not clear though. So let's not uh, waste time. It's just maybe one of the words or special character that doesn't have something. But that's not to read what's important in here. What's important is to just practice working with all these things together even this thing is not really that important the line split what's important is just maybe do this we could just instead of line number it will be the word number or something like that which will have been fine for us so I don't know let me remove this so to avoid confusion and this is basically what we'd like to to have 